Hi guys, today in this tutorial we are going to show you how to jailbreak your iOS 7 device. Evasion has recently released a jailbreak that allows us to jailbreak any iOS device running uh, iOS 7. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. The first step that we're going to want to do um, before we attempt the jailbreak is on our I iPhone or iPad and we want to make sure that the passcode is turned off. Turning off the passcode will ensure that uh, the evasion jailbreak can do what it needs to do um, and it won't get locked out. So let's go ahead and go into settings, general, and then scroll down to passcode lock. And you can see that mine is already off. Um, if yours is turned on, you're going to want to go in and make sure that you turn the passcode off. Uh, if we don't turn off the passcode, when Evasion tries to reset your phone, it will end up getting locked out and you're going to run into problems. So make sure that that is turned off. Once we've got the passcode turned off, the next thing you want to do is make sure that you back up uh, all the information that's on your iOS device. Uh, sometimes the jailbreak doesn't go quite as we planned and a lot of the information can get lost so it's very important that you back up anything that you want to keep on your phone just in case you do run into a snag that all your information isn't lost <clears throat> once we've got those two things taken care of we can switch over to our PC and do a couple of steps there okay now that we're here on our PC um, we're gonna wanna download the evasion jailbreak so go ahead and open up whatever browser it is that you use um, and in the comments or in the uh, information section of this video there should be a link to the evasion jailbreak you can also go to evasion.com um, and note that evasion has a zero instead of an O in the word evasion once you get to this page, uh, you can see that you've got a couple different options of what to download depending on which operating system you're using. So I'm going to go ahead and download the Windows version. And it'll take you to this site here. And go ahead and download the file to your computer. It shouldn't take too long. Uh, it's only about 16 megabytes uh, file, not too big. All right, that took way longer than I thought it would. So I've sped things up so you didn't have to wait as long as I did. Um, but once we have the file downloaded to our computer, we can go ahead and uh, open it. And it's a zip file, so we're going to want to extract all files. And I'm just going to extract them to my desktop just to make it easier. You can extract them to wherever you want. <coughs> Okay. So because I've extracted them here to my desktop, uh, they should be easy to find. Um, and we're going to want to go ahead and plug in our iOS device to our computer using a USB cable. Uh, so we can see that uh, my iPhone here is connected to the PC. And then all we need to do is click this evasion app here on the let it begin to run. We'll ask if we can make changes. Go ahead and say yes. It's going to tell you to connect your device um, and it's going to search for it. And we can see that it's found it. Here it's found my iPhone 4S 7.06 and then all we need to do to begin is click jailbreak. And the process will begin during this time just sit and wait uh, you don't need to touch anything either on your PC or on your uh, iOS device your iPhone or your iPad just leave them alone for now
at this point uh, we can see that the the device is rebooting it says it's rebooting our device on our PC and your iOS device uh, will be rebooting you'll see the Apple logo you shouldn't touch anything at this point just continue to wait let the evasion jailbreak do its work uh, this is, right here is why we turned off the passcode lock it's going to allow uh, the evasion jailbreak to do what it needs to inside our phone so you can see the PC has detected the iPhone again you can go ahead and just click X on that <clears throat> and at this point on our PC it's told us uh, to continue please unlock your device and tap the new evasion 7 icon so when we transfer and look at our uh, iOS device we go ahead and open it we see that there's an evasion 7 icon and that's what we need to touch so go ahead and just tap that and it will open and you'll see the pinwheel begin to spin right now on your PC uh, it will say that it's rebooting the device and we can just go ahead and continue to wait the great thing about this uh, jailbreak is that the computer does all the work you really just need to sit back and not touch anything for the most part Right now we can see the Apple logo again and on our PC it's telling us that to continue we need to unlock our device. So go ahead and slide to unlock your device. The PC now tells us that it's modifying the roots, cleaning up and it's going to reboot one more time. and the PC right now is telling us that the work is done so we really just need to wait and let the iOS device reboot one last time and this time we notice that when it reboots it's the evasion jailbreak that's kind of taking over and running the software on our iPhone so it says right now that it's reading the kernel alright so once again I've kind of sp sped things up so you don't have to wait as long um, but we should see your unlock screen so we can go ahead and unlock and now the evasion 7 app should have disappeared and in its place we'll see that there's a Cydia app and this Cydia is kind of the uh, app store for jailbroken iPhones if you want to get uh, apps that aren't available through Apple's store and this first time uh, you run Cydia it's going to tell you that it's preparing the file system and Cydia will exit when complete and I'll speed up this part um, because it can take a little while to prepare the file system. It should really only do this the first time that you open Cydia, but this can take a little while. All right, so once again, we can see that it's rebooting. Our Cydia store should have prepared its file system. So this time when you tap it, it, Cydia will ask who you are. Uh, unless you're a lot better with this stuff than I am, go ahead and select user. That's just kind of the basic store. Select done. And Cydia is, there you go, all set up. So there you have it. You have your jailbroken iOS device. Uh, hopefully this is helpful. 
If it was, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions, please feel free to post it in the comments section. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and have a great day. Okay, now that we're here on our PC, um, we're going to want to download the Evasion Jailbreak. So go ahead and open up whatever browser it is that you use. Um, and in the comments, or in the uh, information section of this video, there should be a link to the Evasion Jailbreak. You can also go to evasion.com um, and note that Evasion has a zero instead of an O in the word Evasion. Once you get to this page, uh, you can see that you've got a couple different options of what to download depending on which operating system you're using. So I'm going to go ahead and download the Windows version. And it'll take you to this site here. I'm going to go ahead and download the file to your computer. It shouldn't take too long. Uh, it's only about 16 megabytes uh, file, not too big.